I've received my order for the second release of the Tudor Beast series. Let's take a look. So this is a substantial order of the Tudor Beast Yale design, which recently came out. And this is the second release coined in the Tudor Beast series, with the first being the Lion and the second release being the Yale. I've been a big fan of the Queen's Bee series, and I'm certainly becoming a big fan of the Tudor Bee series. And I'm excited to get this series going. I've placed this order prior to the death of Queen Elizabeth. So it was a surprise to hear that about her passing. And it's possible that this might be the last 2022 Tudor coin that will include the effigy of Queen Elizabeth. I am a big fan of the 10 ounce coins. Uh, I have collected the 10 ounce coins from the Queen's Beast. I've collected the two ounce coins and I will actually continue to do the same for this series. I ordered several of the 10 ounce coins, a tube of the two ounce coins, and in gathering the gold releases as well. And I do have both of these uh, designs coming in gold, and I'll be able to highlight both of those soon. But to go on with this design, so this is a 10 ounce Tudor Beast Yell. This is the second in the bullion release, but the third design overall. The first design that came out was a Seymour Panther, orig originally just in the proof version. These are the bullion versions, even though they're quite shiny and nice. But this is the second release in the bullion form. The yell being the second, the lion being the first. I decided to go big with the 10 ounce coins. Partly because if in the future I decide to sell them or get rid of them, it's easier to sell one 10 ounce coin than five 2 ounce coins. At least that's the way that I'm looking at it. And also in these 10 ounce coins, you're able to really see the design, see the details of the beast. And I quite like them. I think several people like them too. Now the two ounce version, I did get a tube and I'll likely get a tube for each release for the Tudor Beast. With the exception of the first of the line, uh, I did get two tubes of that. And it's just because it's the first release, I always think that the first issue always has a greater demand down the line as people get into the series and they have to go back and recover the designs they haven't gotten. But this is it. It's definitely a beautiful coin. It's got some great intricate design that you can see in the 10 ounce version. Uh, when I saw this design on the stock photo, it didn't really speak to me too much. It seemed like an okay design, but having these in hand definitely makes a difference. And these are very great looking coins that I'm glad I was able to get. Uh, I believe I got these at a very good price. Uh, Silver Gold Bull had these available very early uh, with a very nice introductory price. And even though spot price has fluctuated up and down, I think I got a really good deal on these coins. And I haven't seen them this low since. So certainly I am a big fan of the Tudor Beast coins. I will continue to purchase these as the other designs come out. I think with every passing design, these gain more following more popularity and at times that as it has been in the past pre previous releases do tend to appreciate over time and the reasoning for this i've been stacking for over seven eight years now and i am really looking for coins with an upside i consider to be i consider these to be coins with an upside because they don't all always just track spot price as you can see by the Queen's Beast and either completer coins, there tends to be a premium that's gained as new releases come out and as time passes. So I am a big fan of this particular series because I do feel these come with an upside. And at the very least, I'll be able to recover 
my my original premium which i believe was about 4.99 over spot not too bad for a great looking coin a uh, great design uh, you could do a lot worse hey you could even find some generics in that premium so i'm glad to be able to pick these up and be able to hold them for a few years maybe down the line i get rid of a few extras and i keep one full series of the 10 ounce the two ounce and the gold versions all right well that's all i got let me know how do you feel about design do you like it do you enjoy it have a good one